Hi, this is Chiranjeevi. This question appeared in December 19, 2016, CSIR net. The question is, the compound that exhibits following spectral data is, so we have spectral data, HNMR spectral data, so delta value 8, doublet and chemical shift constant, J is equal to 12.3 hedges and with 1 hydrogen, so 1.7 doublet and J is equal to 8 hedges, 2 hydrogens and 6.8 doublet and J is equal to 8 hedges and 2 hydrogens 5.8 doublet J is equal to 12.3 hedges 1 hydrogen and 3.8 singlet 3 hydrogens next and 3 singlet 6 hydrogens ok so we have this spectral data by using this HNMR spectral data, we should find the uh, appropriate uh, structure, okay, of this um, by this uh, HNMR spectral data, okay, right. Now, so if you read or if you observe the spectral HNMR spectral data in every given problem of uh, the spectral data values, so anyone can know at least one or two uh, values so one or two values are familiar with everyone in the given spectral data of uh, each problem so in the give, uh, in this given spectral data so i have uh, easily known values or uh, like uh, 3.8 singlet okay so this is familiar to me so 3.8 uh, singlet and three hydrogens so I can say this is simply methaxy group presence of methaxy functional group or ether functional group right so so 3.8 and singlet and three hydrogens if you observe three hydrogens okay three hydrogens and uh, it has no adjacent hydrogen that's why singlet okay and it has 3.8 delta values or ppm values okay so here 3.8 delta values okay all right so by this so if you observe first and second options so in the first option so there is no methaxy group but we have ester c double bond o o c h3 and next here we have ester c double bond o o c h3 so there is no methaxy group but we have asteric methyl groups are there okay so this ester methyl groups have uh, delta values nearly 2 2 to 3 ppm or delta 2 to 3 delta values okay so that's why 3.8 is absolutely belongs to methaxy group not for the ester group ester groups contain 2 to 3 ppm so that's why we can eliminate first option and second option but we have two live options that is 3 and 4 so from the 3 and 4 what is the final uh, uh, structure which is related to given spectral data we should find it okay right next i have familiar familiar with so this spectral value h number spectral value so that is uh, 3 ppm singlet and 6 hydrogens so if you observe this singlet and 6 hydrogen that is that has a 3 ppm value so so this is so we have six hydrogens and which are in similar uh, chemical environment okay the, and uh, they, it doesn't have any adjacent uh, hydrogens hence it is showing singlet value and we have here also so we need to check only three and four because first and second are already eliminated so if you observe these two uh, we have uh, two uh, two similar uh, in spectral data values containing structures here right then what is uh, perfect uh, uh, structure or uh, fourth one or third one so if you observe the amide functional group so if you observe uh, n substituted amines or simply uh, amides or simply amides so if you observe these so the lone pair electrons on the nitrogen so they shifted to this one and to this double bond shifted on two more alternative axes so that's why so this uh, cs3 
molecules the hydrogens and carbon so they uh, they have uh, no less effect of uh, this uh, more alternative atom so that's why they are simply they are alkenic sp3 carbon so they are not uh, much affected by this lone pair uh, a more electronegative carbonyl carbon hence they show so here uh, they show uh, nearly the amide functional groups in hnmr spectra they show 5 to uh, 6 ppm okay they show 5 to 6 ppm ppm that means they are uh, d shielded so they towards a uh, downfield okay downfield right so that's why uh, mi functional group show hnmr spectral rate of 5 to 6 ppm but here and that's what we have only 3 delta value or 3 ppm with six hydrogens and singlet so hence if you observe these functional groups there is no carbonyl carbon hence no chance to uh, delocalize this uh, lone pair of electrons onto the carbon uh, hence uh, this uh, methyl methyl groups so show um, they have the properties like alkanes simply alkanes hence we know that alkanes have uh, spectral uh, hnmr spectral data values nearly 0 to 3 okay or for if if we if, if they are adjacent to more alternative atoms they go for 5 uh, okay 5 to 6 so there is no adjacent uh, carbonyl carbon and which attracts uh, drags these electrons towards its and uh, deshields these uh, methyl groups and then these hydrogens uh, shifted to uh, downfield and they show more uh, hnmr delta value if in this amide group is present but there is no amide functional group that's why they show only 0 to 3 uh, ppm delta hnmr values so that's why this 3 ppm value as with six hydrogens that show singlet so that uh, absolutely they show three ppm value here and this is the one that one okay hence so the fourth option is eliminated and we have only third option and this is the correct answer for the given spectral data right next we have another values so i am going to reduce all the values uh, to this structure uh, okay right next if you observe this j is equal to chemical shift value j is equal to 12.3 hedges so and uh, we have two trans hydrogens here okay we know that cis hydrogens show uh, nearly i2 10 or 12 ppm values in hnmr spectra and if we have trans hydrogens they show 14 to 18 ppm or delta values in hnmr spectrum okay right so we have 12.3 here one doublet i next 12.3 another doublet so and they should be in trans so we can consider this one and this carbon carbonic carbon containing hydrogens showing this doublets okay right and why this is 12.3 because so why it is less than 14 and it should be trans because the nearer carbonyl ca carbon containing more electronegative atom and it drags this double bonds towards this one that means this double bond so if you i'm going to give this clear structure as like this so if if we observe normal alkenic trans alkene the hnmr spectral value should be 14 to 18 ppm but the here is the carbon alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl carbon is there here and uh, this double bond uh, chance to shift on towards it and this on to the oxygen that means this double bond getting single bonding character that means that bond order of this double bond is 2 but when you observe the carbonyl containing Uh, carbonyl containing alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound it has bond order nearly 1.2 so simple alkene is 2 but uh, and carbonyl carbon alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl carbon has 1.5 double bond um, bond order for this double bond okay so it is decreasing so that means this is these uh, carbons uh, can uh, getting sp3 nature okay so instead of sp2 hence the nearer to the carbonyl carbon it shows 
less delta values nearly 5.8 so this one 5.8 and doublet j is equal to 12.3 hedges and one hydrogen so 5.8 and uh, this is uh, more uh, it is not affected as much as of uh, this alpha carbon uh, carbon containing hydrogen hence it shows nearly delta value eight okay so eight so now here is 5.8 and here is eight delta values okay next and if you observe uh, this 6.8 double j is equal to eight hedges and two hedges uh, two hydrogens and 7.7 .7, a doublet and j is equal to 8 hedges to hydrogens so these uh, these are showing uh, the hydrogens of cis hydrogens of aromatic ring okay cis hydrogens of aromatic ring right so already i told you the cis uh, hydrogens are uh, hn mass spectral value is nearly 8 to 10 so we, we have 7.7 7 and 6.8 so these uh, these are uh, aromatic uh, protons showing delta values and if you observe where the 6.8 and where is 7.7 .7. so already i told you and if you observe this one okay so the carbonyl carbon abstract this um, double bond on here and uh, this double bond goes here that means uh, the double bonding hydrogen is affecting more here so that's why it has nearly 6.8 delta value and this aromatic proton doesn't uh, doesn't affect by this uh, carbonyl ca oxygen uh, that's why it shows nearly 7.7 .7, that is uh, simply the aromatic proton so if we if you observe benzene it it shows nearly 7 to 8 ppm values so uh, this proton doesn't affected by this carbonyl carbon as much as of this alpha uh, carbonic uh, carbon containing hydrogen hence it shows 7.7 .7 delta value and this this hydrogen is showing uh, it is affected by this carbonyl carbon more electronegative atom hence so it shows 6.8 delta values so so from this you can reduce 6.8 here and 7.7 .7 here so similarly here because this chemical environment and this chemical environment is similar and 6.8 here and 7.7 .7 here so from this you can completely give the uh, spectral values as like this so from all the data so we can deduce the structure as this one so third option is the right answer so you can observe the spectral values given to the total structure okay from this we can give the answer three is the right structure for the given HNMR spectral data. Thank you. If you like my videos, please subscribe my channel.